Kathy Thomas. Today, Amy Lebrum, the talented executive chef at Lido Bottle Works in Newport Beach, joins me to show off her fish cookery. She's showcasing the dory catch of the day, fresh from local waters. What delicious fun. Welcome, chef. Thank I'm you. So pleased to have you here today. And it's Monday. So when was this fish caught? Monday. Yeah. <laughs> Fresh today. Yep. All right, let's get started. First, we're gonna do our kabocha squash puree. So mm -hmm. we're gonna get that started. So I'm gonna need some heat. All right. This is my favorite squash this time of year. It's really rich, it's dense, it's got a lot of flavor, it's sweet. And you've peeled this and seeded it and taken out any of the uh, stringy parts? Yes, in this hot pan. A little bit of olive oil. Mm -hmm. This looks so beautiful, and this looks like it's it's got a really hard shell on it. So did you use a cleaver? What did you use? It sure is. What I did was I peeled it with a peeler first. Mm -hmm. You have to have like a really good peeler. Mm -hmm. um, and then after it was peeled, I cut it in half, mm -hmm. cleaned it out, mm -hmm. and then chopped it up into these pieces. And to the olive oil, we got some white sweet onion. Mm -hmm. I prefer the sweeter when in season. Some garlic. And then I'm gonna add the squash. All right. And do we need any liquid in there with it? Yes, we do. I prefer to put white wine and a little bit All of right. water. And then I'm going to cut up this apple because I'm going to add apple to this puree. So it's going to be like a sweet, savory mm. puree. Put the lid on and we'll simmer it. We'll season it a little bit later. And I'm going to leave it on high until it comes to a simmer and then turn it down? Yes. Okay. The next step we're going to do is have our Spanish chorizo. This particular brand is from Bilbao. Mm. And Bilbao. it's tangy. It's rich, it's got the right pork fat flavor for me. We're gonna make the pico, the, the seasonal fruit pico. We're gonna do persimmon, mm -hmm. um, Asian pear mm -hmm. for texture, um, Bartlett pear, and apples and pomegranates. Oh, delicious. And such pretty colors too. Also, we'll do some roasted poblano chili peppers for mm -hmm. some heat and some red onion. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna chop up the pico in any desired shape. But you don't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to be uniform. I like rustic beauty, so. Wonderful, and that makes it easier. I'm gonna add some freshly squeezed lemon juice, fresh cut cilantro, pick this just outside of the restaurant, some salt, pepper, and olive oil. Just want to let this set and marry together for, I'd say at least a good 20 minutes. Oh, I love the look of that. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Next, we are going to sear some rock cod. Uh, it's a very sweet fish. I prefer that. It's sweet and meaty. So this pan needs to be pretty hot. So while that's happening, I'm gonna season this fish I'm gonna put just a little bit of olive oil on here and then just salt and pepper. I'm cooking two fillets because one's for me and one's for you. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> I like that idea. Just you got a minute. massive piece of butter there, Chef. Uh, You're not fooling around. So just a little bit of butter. Just a little bit. Like a tablespoon. Even if this butter gets a little brown, that's adding some love flavor to it. And brown butter is gonna go really well with the kabocha squash too. Mm -hmm. Here, Here we it go. goes. Here we go. It's showtime. Two of these guys. Oh, so good. Mm -hmm. More salt and pepper. And then we're gonna start working on our next step. I'm gonna get the chard going in this pan right here. A little bit of olive oil and some more butter. Get that big butter <laughs> out here, chef. But that's gonna make the chard very happy. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I see you've got the leaves in one bowl yes. and in the 
other bowl, you've got the, the stems. I'm going to just dump the stems in there first and let these cook a little bit because these are going to take a little bit longer than the leaves. Mm -hmm. I'm going to flip the fish over right now too and I'm going to turn the heat down. So this we're going to add a little bit of garlic. I have some extra onions laying around. Why not? <laughs> it too will make the chard happy. A little bit of salt and pepper. So we're going to add the chard leaves. And we just want to wilt it. Oh, so you're not going to lose much. You're right. going to keep the volume. Good. So, so we're pretty much done. We can turn the heat All off right. on this guy. We mm -hmm. have pureed that kabocha squash mixture. And we have this beautiful yellow fall color. And the next thing I'm going to do is plate up this, this chard. And you're being very generous with it. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always hungry. <laughs> We're going to put the fish down. The chorizo. Oh, uh, yeah, beautiful. from Bilbao. Bilbao. On top of this, we're going to put this beautiful pico. What a lovely balance of textures and flavors. And just because this persimmon is almost perfect, I'm going to put that as a garnish and on the plate right there. It just couldn't be prettier. And I know it's going to be delicious. Thank you, chef. Thank you, Kathy. Here's a quick tip from Melissa's. Pilaf is a foolproof side dish that can be augmented with an endless number of vegetable combinations. One of my favorites is fresh corn kernels and leeks. In a large saucepan, I just put in about a tablespoon and a half of butter and an equal amount of olive oil. And I'm just using the white and light green part of the leek, cutting it in half and then in quarters, and then cutting it into nice slices. And I'm just going to put this in some water to a nice swish, and then drain it off. Let's heat up our oil and butter. Once the butter is melted, I'm going to add a cup and a half long-grained uh, basmati rice. Cover the rice with butter and oil. Okay, ever so lightly browned. Going to go ahead and add the leeks and give it a good stir. Okay, it's starting to brown. Our leeks are just starting to get translucent. Now you can add vegetable broth, you could add beef broth. Today is chicken broth, and I want it to come up to a boil. I want to add a little salt, a little pepper, put the lid on, and turn it to low. Now I'm going to let it go for a total of 17 minutes. But before that, at about 14 minutes, I want to add the corn. You could use frozen corn, but I just think the fresh is just so nice. In order to capture it, I like to use a rimmed baking sheet. It's been about 13, 14 minutes. Corn goes in about three minutes. It looks beautiful. I'm going to put in some chopped green herbs. Today I'm just putting in basil and it looks delicious. Could have used celery and carrots, could have used a wide variety of different combinations, but corn and leeks, not bad. The produce aisles are filled with so many delicious choices. Try something new, have an adventure.